Hello everyone, this is Oscar Moreno for CG Dojo. We'll be recording this tutorial for Bitmap 2 material. And let's get started. Okay, so well, I'm going to drop a bitmap here. Well, it says bitmap, but it could be pretty much of any format. So I, I'll got my texture here. Click, load and bitmap diffuse tweak. Okay, so I got my my image here, my image texture. And here, well, the output size, I would like a 1024. I mean, really, so you can watch, uh, so you can see it better. I'll use 1024. If I go 2048, well, it gets a bit laggy while uh, editing, so I'll just keep it like that. 1024 will be fine, okay? Well, here I got my 2D view, of course, my image, my 3D view port, and of course my parameters. Parameters. Well, I'm giving my best for the best pronunciation possible. Anyway, okay, so let's go here. Here, well, we got the geometry. We got a primitive list, cube, cylinder, hollow box, inner box, plane, uh, sphere, you get the idea, okay? Let's keep it at the cube. Okay, then shader. Well, I got a shader list, plane, displacement, NVIDIA only. That means that only if you got an NVIDIA card, well, you cannot use that. And well, you got all of these. Uh, of course, I, I will always use the displacement NVIDIA only. Don't ask me why, I just like it. And I got an NVIDIA card, so I can use it. Well, Okay, so we got a cube, a few options here. I'm gonna ignore pretty much all of these. I don't really wanna mess with these ones most of the time. I'll just move the tile here so you get an idea of what we'll be doing. As you can see, well, we we start with the tiling and then we get the seams, these seams. Uh, we don't want that, so a quick fix to for this in Bitmap to Material, well, this is just like magic, look at this. In Global, you got the option make it tile method okay and it's set to none but you go to offset wow it's just like magic okay you cannot really notice it right now but eh, it may not be perfect but it's like 98 percent close to perfect and well but i rather splat which is 99.9 perfect wise if that's the right word well i just love this okay and well, right now it's set to X and Y, so it'll be tileable either way. But if I set it to X only, well, it'll just be tileable on the X. Okay. Oh, well, not, not in splat, sorry. In offset. Yeah. But in splat, well everything gets fixed and you got a tileable, tileable textures just like that okay so well if I go to offset I will play with this and there's not a lot happening there's like a little square in the middle it does something weird as you can see but you get the sharp edges and well you can tweak that but I mean a splat is way better for this kind of texture and look at this if I play with the splat handle here Whoa, it just moves, but even though it moves everywhere, it's just perfect for texturing. Wow, just look at that. It's magic. It's all magical. That's pretty much my favorite tool in Bitmap 2 Material because if you ever try this in Photoshop, well, it will take a while. Uh, I'm, I mean, probably not long, but Besides this, I, if you compare it to this thing, it's just, it's beautiful. Okay, well, that's a global. Where in the diffuse settings, well, we can, well, my mouse is like t tickling, appearing and disappearing, I don't know why. Oh, okay, it's because if I'm, I'm sporting a different video, I guess, I, well, that'll be the only reason. Well, anyway, I hope it doesn't bug you. 
so okay let's go back to this diffuse in these settings well I got the sharpen which will sharpen my image as you can see well it's get all sharped which I don't like but it will help you out to bring out the detail at some points I guess the color neutralize eh, it doesn't really do much hue well it'll change the color of your image and the hue will saturation well you can go either black and white or really saturate and the saturation is getting getting rid of the color okay but I mean if you go all the way and or all the way down it doesn't make sense so you want to keep it really really low I mean in the middle so brightness well you know what's brightness right so you get the idea or contrast really here you're editing the the color of the textures but just like crazy pump if you ever used it well as soon as you load this you get all your other maps normal specular I'll only show the ones that I use I'm in occlusion okay so here you have all your maps and then you're getting this result which is perfect and well here in the relief is where you play with the normal map that's where I that's why I go to the output normal map tab and you get this option direct X direct X or well you can change to OpenGL uh, I will always leave it at direct X okay so now where I was sorry I, I keep hearing noises on my home so it kind of freaks me out sometimes I gotta see what's happening around oh man okay I'll be fine okay let's move on uh, I would jump this most of the time I would just go straight to the normal string and as you can see in the image here well you, you get more detail or if you see down here down here in the 3D port you get the idea right more or less okay so I would like to keep it just like that and the relief equalizer well you can mess up more with more of the values you get the fine details will bring out noise in your normal map medium details for the medium details of course and large, large details for the larger details you know this is all pretty <laughs> obvious I guess and I always say that playing around and messing around with the program is the best way to learn I mean <laughs> there's nothing wrong about it you'll you'll definitely learn so okay I will bring I will jump the pinch because I don't really use it lots you see pinch kinda makes a that sort of pattern which I don't really like okay it could be useful for other texturing but for this case I don't really I mean for most of the cases I won't even use it normal sharpen well again it will be like strength I guess it will bring up the details normal soften well it will soften your image but you don't want that a lot and well the high map which I won't even talk about it right now so I'll just move to the specular so you know dark won't shine white it will shine and as you can see we're getting weird weird behavior here because maybe in the normal map at some point I just went too exaggerated maybe here let's go back and soften it a bit just so the specular doesn't look that bad looks a bit better still I get uh, this weird noise but we can get rid of that here oh there is a sharpen I think it was too sharp I'll just leave it low specular levels in remember dark won't shine white will shine gray is in the middle okay so pretty much I want to keep something like that as you can see here well it's too reflective which like something like this will be nice because in your 3d software and your 3d program you can still edit this 
to make it a uh, uh, I mean you you get the uh, you get uh, nodes or handles uh, for this and you can still tweak it in your 3d package so it's not really I mean you you wanna make the best from this bit not to material but it's not that strict in that way because you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time here like you can just get close to it and then in the 3d program well you'll get more control of it because then you'll be rendered inside and you'll still uh, still are gonna tweak it anyway so I will just leave it like this dark white and gray as you can see here well I like it how it's looking probably not the best artist but uh, that doesn't matter there's better people than me I'm better than others I hope <laughs> I'm just kidding okay let's move on with the ambient occlusion okay this is another one I wanna point out because I always use it to remark my in this case my cracks the holes so I will use uh, multiply on my node setting I am I just blender most of the time uh, but also use Maya and this uh, this ambient occlusion is like baked in the image you can either put it in a uh, go to a different software or just bake it and it will be in the diffuse but this is pretty much so you get uh, better control in the 3d package if you move it there okay so well that's a multiply as you can see we'll look at the image okay let's see if that channel is there it is, it is okay well let's see if it's not it's just a slight change it's not really doing lots okay well I just wanted to point that out okay so I got this if I make it darker look at the image down in the 3d in the 3d viewport okay so here you go it gives it more depth with this um, depth well you get the point depth not that's depth oh, okay now nah, never mind my English okay well uh, okay um, the multiply well we just wanna set a value not to exaggerate it just a little bit so you get you get the cracks really looking nice and well as always light strength will be reflected in the map as you can see you get darker or lighter and same with the light distance well you get the point here remember just move everything around and you will learn believe me that's how I learned this piece of software which is awesome you know what I really fell in love with uh, <laughs> with this uh, bit of material because of this the make it tile method is just awesome it saves you a lot of time and well I, I don't know I, I don't think you I guess you'll find something similar in different packages but well for the time being this is what I found and it's just beautiful and it works and same with the output size well if you're not happy with the 2024 you can just go to the 2048 at the end and your changes will remain in the in the image you see well that's 2048 1024 512 and that really depends of how how close you're gonna be let's say in a video game to this texture okay so something like that it'll look nice 512 well of course this if you want to be really far away or farther well you get the point I guess you you will really know more about this than I do okay well we could talk about different sizes in a different tutorial speaking of textures okay well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that'll be it oh no I forgot of course you gotta export the bitmaps well I say bitmaps but anyway okay so well when I try to export it always brings me that well, I always go here because it's closer okay 
so export a speedmap boom okay it's the same as this one so here well it's an animation I don't know why it's always an animation so and start at zero frames and at 200 well I don't want to render 20 hundred different uh, PNGs or JPEGs or whatever file format you want okay so well I got that set up to start dirt and finish there so I only want to render one frame one time because if I leave it at 200 it will start rendering tons and tons of textures okay so well here I'm gonna set my name so it's gonna be uh, cracked floor and the pattern I would like to use is the output name and I don't want all the outputs, so I'll just select the ones that I want. I'm in occlusion, normal, specular, and diffuse because I tweak it, so I sharpen it a bit. So I, I still want my diffuse. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Then we check it again. We browse whatever you want to put it, which I already select. Okay, bitmap. Okay, I don't want a bitmap. Okay, here's where I change the format where it says format of course JPEG or PNG they're my favorite formats for used for uh, in texturing so let's leave it at JPEG JPG okay and export tan 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 for different maps I mean occlusion specular diffuse and normal and on uh, and now that's it so thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoy it and it'll help you out in the future with your texturing so we'll see you around